Ibrahim Raisi takes over as the eighth president of the Islamic regime. The sanctions imposed against the Iranian nation must be lifted. We will support any diplomatic plan that supports this goal. Raisi spoke at his swearing-in ceremony where he touted his country as the true defenders of human rights and a force for peace in the region. Iran's regional capacities back peace and stability in countries and will only be used to confront threats of domineering and tyrant powers. Raisi is considered a hardliner, a carbon copy of religious leader Ayatollah Khamenei, and the first Iranian president to be sanctioned by the U.S. even before taking office. Ibrahim Raisi is called the butcher of Tehran, actually, because he has a long track record of uh, killing his own people uh, going back to 1988. You can say that he's probably responsible for at least 10,000 Iranians being executed. Len Kutterkovsky, a former senior advisor to the U.S. envoy for Iran, says although the Ayatollah is the ultimate decision maker, Raisi won't give up much in talks to reinstate the Iranian nuclear deal, officially known as the JCPOA. We can expect them to play hardball, and we're seeing them playing hardball right now through their attacks on our interests, through the attacks on an Israeli-owned ship just a few days ago. Kutterkovsky says it's the Iranian negotiating style. What they're sensing is that the Biden administration is signaling weakness. They're seeing that there's no price that they have to pay after each of these attacks. And in return, instead of uh, playing hardball, the Biden administration makes more and more concessions. Israel, the U.S. and U.K. are blaming Iran for the attack on the Israeli-operated oil tanker called Mercer Street that left two Europeans dead. Iran denies its involvement. Israel is trying to rally international support for sanctions against Iran, but some 70 countries and the European Union attended Raisi's inauguration. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said they shouldn't be there. Raisi is the most radical Iranian president so far, and the competition is tough. I call on the European Union. One cannot talk about human rights and at the same time pay homage to a murderer and a hangman who has eliminated hundreds of opponents of the regime. Israel's Defense Minister Benny Gantz and Foreign Minister Yair Lapid briefed ambassadors from UN Security Council member states on Iran's involvement in the Mercer ship attack and its nuclear plans. Iran has violated all of the guidelines set in the JCPOA and is only around 10 weeks from acquiring weapons-grade materials necessary for a nuclear weapon. Therefore, it is time to act. The world must apply economic sanctions and take operative action against the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. The Iranians need to understand that it is impossible to sit peacefully in Tehran and from there ignite the entire Middle East. That is over. Israel has long said it will not allow Iran to get nuclear weapons, and now that it seems the clock is ticking, Israel will have to decide how far it will go to stop it. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.